so Saturday morning, just a little after 8 a.m. Uh, I got out here early. I was out here about 7 a.m. enjoying this nice weather. It's currently like 70 degrees. It was low 60s when I first got up. It's starting to warm up a little bit. But it's only supposed to get to 95 today. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably thinking only 95, but for us this time of year, only 95 is a blessing. 100 degrees, I can take all day long. That 115 stuff though, that, that shit's whack. But anyways, got out here early this morning, take advantage of the weather. Um, throughout the week, I got some new steering parts for the S10. There wasn't really a whole lot wrong with it. There was a little bit of play in them. Um, when I did the brakes and the spindles and stuff, I figured that it was okay and I just left it. But after hitting almost you know 120 miles an hour in this thing the other day at the track, I, I felt like it was probably a good idea to just replace all the steering. And I got online and I was looking and through rockauto.com, I was able to get all of the steering I needed for this thing for like 90 bucks. So couldn't beat that. So I ordered it. Um, so throughout the week, little by little, I was replacing the steering on it. I didn't really film a whole lot of it because during the week I come out here, I'll, I'll be out here for just like 15, 20 minutes, half hour, something like that. And it's, it takes more time to, to set up the camera and film something than it does to actually do it. So I just kind of tinker throughout the week. So I got all the steering out. I've got these uh, these toe plates. These are kind of cool. I never really had seen these before, but they're made by a company called Longacre. Uh, they specialize in like racing stuff, like circle track, dirt track stuff. But basically, they sell these plates, and they they come with tape measures. But I'm borrowing these from a, a coworker of mine. So, but you can buy the plates and two tape measures, and they're like they're pretty cheap. They're like I want to say less than a hundred bucks um, and then you can also buy turn plates that go under the wheels with like ball bearings um, those get a little bit expensive but for the the sole purpose of just doing a a basic toe set these work really good I was out here and I started doing this and I was like you know what I have a YouTube channel I should probably film this <laughs> so I'm out here setting the toe on this thing I probably should check the the camber too um, I never really messed with any of that, so I just kind of figured, uh, you know, ignorance is bliss with that. But I eyeball it; it looks, it looks all right. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm just setting the toe for now. Uh, we might get into caster and camber a little later on because I do plan on replacing the uh, stock control arms with something a little bit better down the road, something maybe a little bit lighter. But for now, we're just going to leave that alone. Just going to set the toe and let it go. Had to uh, put the old C10 on the charger. As you guys saw in the last video, I've kind of put this thing up for sale. I accidentally left the key on on this thing <laughs> the other day. And uh, so the battery's dead. So just charging it up. Gonna do a little bit of maintenance on this thing too as well today, this weekend. Uh, just kind of getting it cleaned up. My C10 talk coffee mug out here too, a little bit of coffee in it. So I just got done getting the steering wheel and everything centered, the, the steering centered so that the pitman arm and idle arm are straight. Um, now I'm just measuring basically front to back and, and seeing the difference. Back here we got 66 inches and up here we're at 65 and a quarter. So I got three quarters of an inch difference uh, from front to back. And the smaller one being in the front so we're towed in. Um, I typically set up my vehicles with an eighth of an inch toe in. Uh, you want a little bit of toe in because if you're perfectly straight, the tires will want to kind of follow the grooves in the road and you'll get kind of a wandering feeling. Caster has effect on that too, but we're not going to get into that today. But So basically I'm just going to adjust the tire odds now equally, both sides, uh, like quarter turn or a half turn at a time until we get this within an eighth of an inch. Now give us the 16th of an inch per side um, of toe in.
All right, so got everything adjusted. Let's see here, we're at 65 and a half. Over here, we're at, pull it, whoop. Can't pull it too tight. Kinda have to have two hands to do this. But, I sit down. As you can see, like I said, we're about 65 and a half on this one. And then over here, we're at 65 and about 5 sixteenths. Just over an eighth inch of difference. Just close enough. It's going to be good enough for me. So, I've already went ahead and tightened all the clamps so man it is terrible for filming out here right now with the sun coming into this garage everything's either blown out or super dark i tighten the clamps on the tie rods double check the measurement afterwards because sometimes stuff will move when you tighten it down um also jounce the front end a few times you know bounce it up and down try and make sure the tires aren't stuck on the ground um, ideally you would put turn plates under here so that they can move freely but it is what it is. You just jounce it a few times and you should be good to go. You may also notice that I have a hood on it now. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that too because I posted a picture of it. Had to, uh, pole kind of looks like a dick. But anyways, I always intended to put a hood on this truck. Um, I really want to get a one of the big cowl hoods. You know, like a, a lightweight fiberglass one, but just not right now. And I wanted to put this hood back on just because it I got uh, I finally got this thing insured so that I can drive it on the street and I think it's just a little bit less inconspicuous with the hood on it I mean granted the 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 uh, carb hat is sticking through the hood but I feel like it won't get as much attention from cops as I pass them so cut a hole through it make it fit I'll show you I gotta do a little bit of trimming still. It's uh, it's not great. I cut a little bit too much there in the middle, or there in the front. The hole's not great. <laughs> it's a little wonky. It'll do. I kind of just <laughs> started cutting. Didn't really have a plan, but a little bit too much in the front there. But it'll do for now. Like I said, I want to get a cowl hood for it eventually. Since I had to cut the the radiator support out to get this radiator in, I no longer have a hood latch for it. So I'm gonna have to run hood pins, because race truck, probably set them right here. This stuff's like double layered, and it's pretty, pretty thick. I think if I was to drill all the way through, the pin would end up being too short. So I think I'm just gonna weld that nut right there to the core support, and then a little dab of grease on top, set the hood down it should line up somewhere right there because this is where the original um, bump stops were so a little dab of grease on top set the hood down transfer up to here drill a hole through Bob's your uncle
Okay, so this one is almost in the center of that little dimple. So it's probably leaned back just a hair, which I can kind of tell. So, and then this one was kind of way off. I'm gonna adjust these a little bit, try and get them a little bit more into the center of those dimples there so that uh, it's a little bit easier to, to drill. and all of my neighbors decided to uh, do their yard work all at once. So, apologize for that noise. All right, that takes care of that. But yeah, this hood pin kit I got from Speedway Motors, which I work there now, by the way. But, um, shameless plug. But this hood pin kit is $7.99. <laughs> you can't beat that.
All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video because I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. And as always, I appreciate all of the support and the love you guys show me through the comments and the, the thumbs up and, and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. There's also, uh, as I mentioned before in one of the videos, there's a, a button down by like the thumbs up and stuff that's an applaud button. And that's just a simple little way of showing some support for the channel. Um, you can donate a couple of bucks here and there, but you guys aren't obligated to do that, obviously. But if you feel like you want to support the channel, that's always there. Do me a favor, share this video with all your friends. I want to try and grow this channel a little bit more. We're about halfway to 2,000 subscribers. So let's try and bump those numbers up. And if you guys could share this video on uh, your social media, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or what, whatever, it'll really help me out a lot. So the more people we can get to see these videos, the better. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for today. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.